Hey, yeah, yeah, here. Okay. So, yesterday I made a video just talking about how. Uh, let me turn this TV down. Sorry. I have made a video talking about uh the weather and what's going on in social media with a lot of celebrities um and how I was able to relate a lot of things that are going on right now to some books that I've been reading right one of them my name was the book of Enoch but there's like so many other books that you can actually go through and it basically telling you about what's going on right now has already been recorded okay basically so I'm not really into a lot of like uh, stuff that's going on in social media and stuff like I, I get told through other people basically okay and then I go in and I just just immediately just start decoding it because it just has to make sense for me you know um not so much just has to make sense I want to get to the truth of it and I'm you know find my own truth basically because that's the only way you can do it. You have to find your own truth and everything, right? Well, that's how I believe. So, um, okay. There, I told you there was like a lot of energy I felt right now. Like I always feel energy and stuff. It's just a part of us being who we are, okay? But at certain times, there's like a massive shift of energy, you know? Like during certain, um, there's like portals open. There's like, you know, when we're shifting to different, you know, we can go to different dimensions. There's so many things that can go on that can cause all this energy, okay? Um, when somebody dies, like the celebrity, like Kobe Bryant, all this stuff that's going on, um, all of this is planned into, uh, uh, you know, what's, it's all a part of the grand design, basically, okay? And I know that's hard to stomach for some people. You know, a lot of people don't know how to... Um, look at things in that perspective and I understand that and I get it I just don't know how um, that would work in my life because um, yeah it just it just doesn't you know it, it, it's never resonated for me to be overly emotional about death um, just because of the way I was raised you know now I didn't agree with a lot of things because I was brainwashed too okay um, at points in my life I just kind of went along with things because I was a child you know you can only be so rebellious, okay? <laughs> After a while, you get tired of it. And you get tired of the whoopings, and you just kind of fall back, you know? And that's what I did until I moved out. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So, there is, like, so much going on right now. Like, I would want to go more into depth with it, but, um... You'd have to be into studying the ancient text, basically. So you want to get into the Dead Sea Squirrels. You want to read about Thoth, Tahuti. Um, what is it? Uh, there's another book I want to introduce to you guys. Um, it's dealing with signs and symbols and all type of stuff. Uh, this one is like an older book too. It's the Dagon, Dagon book of the sacred symbols and signs. I don't feel like getting up and getting it right now, but um. I'll show uh, like a list of all the books and stuff that I've been reading and researching through. You still have to find your own truth, you know, because a lot of the books, they just kind of give you a reference on what to follow, okay? Um, there's just pieces we have to gather from everywhere. So I study from every, everywhere, okay? I don't just limit myself to just one type of studying. And like I said, I find my own truth in everything that I study, everything that I hear, everything that I see. And I also have to go, like I use everything okay basically is what i'm trying to get at now i do rely on my knowing and my higher self okay for everything because it's just so it's so crystal clear but that's just to lead me to the tools i need basically to be able to decipher and discern what's going on in my day-to-day -day and like you know what's around me you know as far as like i was talking about like with the entertainment and like um the celebrities and even my family members my friends like just myself you know period i had went on this little adventure here recently with myself like i was just like okay 
So I made a bunch of changes here and there and there. Why don't I just, just I woke up and was just like, okay, forget it. I'm about to just do some fasting and um, connect with my higher self a little bit more. Even though we already like this, you feel me? Like we tight, we real. Okay. Uh, I felt like I needed to um, let go of some past things. It's, it's what they call a regression or whatever. Um, I was just going through some things that I thought, you know, I needed to really, I needed to pinpoint down. Okay. So the fasting helped me actually face a lot of stuff that I thought I got through. Okay. Surprise, surprise. I had some, I, I done cleaning out, you know, I done a lot of ma major cleaning out. So with the, I just went on like a water fast and then I would do like the monotomic goat, the, um, I showed this before, the spirulina. Um, and that's like a complete protein by itself. So that helps. And I drink like my little tea, like I talked about before, the ginger tea, uh, chamomile at night. Um, so I don't know how long I fast, y'all. I just, I, after I got past the first three days and all the pain of not having food and my body was going through so many changes because it was used to certain things. After I got past that, I just quit counting, you know, and just, just kept going with it. Okay. Now. Anyway, end result, side effect, lost a lot of weight, <laughs> okay, which was cool, but that wasn't the main goal. I mean, I knew I needed to lose some weight eventually, but like I said, I love myself no matter what, but when you're on this this um, leveling up thing, you know, you can find yourself, um, you really need to touch bases everywhere, okay? So I was going through some things, like I said, uh, from childhood I need to face and deal with still obviously um, even things from adulthood dealing with past relationships and stuff like that um, once you realize that everything a lot of things are just in your head anyway you know and it's just your perception of how you see it okay some things are not always exactly the way you think they are and that's what worked for me I don't know if that works for everybody else you know everybody needs to do what works for them because we're all different you know in our own unique way so, I just found a whole lot of tools to work for me, and I used everything I had and everything I could, led by my higher self only, to achieve these things, okay? Anyway, so, oh man, I'm getting off track. Okay, so what, basically what I'm trying to get at is, I let my higher self guide me along the way, but I do try to find time to be grounded and leveled. So I have friends that are not into none of the stuff I'm talking about. You know, they're more into the celebrities and the news and stuff like that. So I I use that to my advantage, and I started finding ways to figure out what 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 is the message they're really trying to tell. Because a lot of the music I just wasn't into anyway, because it just it just didn't make sense what they were saying. But that's before I actually started to learn about signs symbols uh the meaning of colors and things have more than one meaning too by the way okay so i've learned that along the way too but um learning about so when i'm watching movies i'm listening to songs i'm looking for all these things in the movie in the song you know like say if they kill somebody i'm looking for where they stab them at or where they shoot them at because all that can mean different stuff too you know and it's all like I don't know. It's pretty cool once you get into it, but it's like an ongoing thing, you know. Like every day, I'm basically in practice. I'm in study every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. No days off. No days off. No days off. Now I do find my little downtime here and there, like I said, and I'll just chill with one of my friends that are talking about Nicki Minaj's butt or <laughs> uh, just oh my god, what was my one friend showing me? K Michelle's getting rid of her implants and. While I'm watching this, I was actually saying to them, because it was two friends, okay, I'm like, y'all seriously watch this? And they was like, yeah, Michelle, you got to see her butt now. You should see her boobs. I'm like, I'm sitting there looking at like, I got this face on. And then like, something kicked in, was like, maybe you ought to watch this. Like, 
And part of me was like, oh my God. So they went straight from that to the news. And now like, ah, because I don't watch the news at all. Like I quit that like two years ago or something. Just like, psh. I already knew the news was on some fake sh stuff anyway. Because I had been into, uh, I had, um, I had actually been in some situations where the news reported some fake stuff. So I know for sure. And that's here where I stay at in Ohio. I experienced things in my life to know what's real and what's not. It wasn't nobody telling me, you know, even as a child, I just had experiences that taught me like, oh, this shit ain't cool. Like something ain't right here, you know, and period. Like being here on this planet or whatever you want to call it, Gaia, Earth, Terra, whatever. It's so many names. Uh, being here made me realize like there's more to this picture even as a child. Like the stuff did not add up. So stuff didn't add up. I always try to seek out some type of uh, uh, truth for me. Okay. A lot of times I didn't find it neither as a child because everybody around me was just like on this certain program. It was like, don't ask no questions, Michelle. This is how we're doing it. That's it. And I'm like, what? I don't know. Like after so many whoopings, I was just like, fuck it. I'm just going to go along with this. And as soon as I get a job, I'm saving up and get the hell out of here. And that's what I did. <laughs> okay. Anyway. So basically what I'm trying to get at is this is not new for me. But all the knowledge and tools that are being released right now, okay, that is new for me. Very new. And I don't think everybody is really on, I mean, which I'm not even concerned with that. I'm not concerned with who's on what path and how great they are because that, that, that doesn't really matter in the end. Like, what really matters for me is me saving my own soul. So, with that being said, I try not to be caught up in who's who's this, who's that, you know, who's uh, fake woke and all that. I don't know. That's not none of my business. All right, I really want to see everybody do well. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry for eating them here, but I'm going to tell y'all, I'm hungry. Um... <laughs> I haven't fasted today, but I'm going into a fast, so I slow down eating today as much as I normally eat, so. Anyway. Right now, there's so much information out here that I'm really excited about it. Because when I was a child, I couldn't even talk about the stuff I talk about now. Now, I deal with my older brother because I used to do some pretty miraculous things. And I was able to communicate with him. <laughs> okay. Without talking. <laughs> so I always knew I had powers and I always knew things about me and other people around me. I didn't have a way to prove it though. Or, um, you know, about validation that, okay, I'm not, it's not something wrong with me. So I'm really happy. To see all these people coming out with all this good information right now. Really happy. Like, um, I even follow up on different, like I said, I follow everything, okay? Because I feel like our knowledge is spread everywhere. From here to China, Hong Kong, uh, everywhere. Our stuff is everywhere. It's not just like, people think, okay, I don't, you know, they label themselves and say, well, I'm from Africa. No, honey, I'm so mixed it ain't funny, okay? And I know there's some people who don't have all that mixture in their bloodline. That's good. But uh, for majority of us here, we have more than one race in us. You know, the people who are here in the United States. I know for me, I do. You know, and I see it just in my hair texture. I have about 10 different hair textures on my one head. So do my children. Um, you know, we look at our family tree. There's every color in our family, you know, I mean, literally every color. Um, so anyway, I don't think that I should just study just one background. So that's just me personally. So I search everywhere. I read everywhere. Um, I don't just listen to black people just because they black. I, I, I follow everything and I get my own truth out of everything. And the rest of the stuff, if I can't relate to it or resonate with it, I just don't use it. I don't judge it or nothing because it's not for me. You know what I mean? Or it might not be for me at that moment. That's another thing I've learned. Um, let me turn this. I don't even watch the news, so I was watching the show. So, yeah. Basically, what I'm getting at is I'm just really excited to be in this day and age right now and to be able to have 
you know, to be privy or whatever you want to call it, to be able to have the to um, have the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Instead of like I was as a child, I was like, it was like I had no one to communicate with, you know, except for my older brother. And he was just communicating with me, you know, just to be like, what is she on? You know, or maybe he understood on a deeper level because he's, you know, he has a high IQ and all that, you know. But um, after he kind of went away, you know, he had went off to prison or whatever. I was just left alone with like, oh my God, I cannot talk to anybody. I cannot communicate with anybody because everybody was like, you know, what they call me? All type of names. When I was little, like I got so many nicknames. It's ridiculous because my parents didn't know how to, how to really communicate with me or I just wouldn't talk to people. I was shut down because I noticed that they were on something else. Like they were worried about the stories, this, that, and just none of the stuff that I wanted to know. And if I ask questions, I would always go to the older people because I figured they had the knowledge and none of the older people would give me any type of information. So for a long time, I was just like, man, I thought it was all bad <laughs> until now. Now I see things totally different and I feel like all that was supposed to happen. You know, I had to learn all the, the wrong stuff so that I can get to the right stuff. That's how I felt about it. But right now is the coolest time to be here especially if you are aligned with your true self your god self and you know who you are and you know why you're here and you know where you are and you know that you can go further oh there's so much to it but it's so cool to go on the internet and you 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 hear people who talk about the stuff that you always want to talk about <laughs> you know I don't know to me it's pretty cool mm. yeah give me something to drink y'all but um so right now I noticed that let me see it started in January. Around January, I started really focusing on masculine and feminine energy. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. I'm just led by my higher self. So, I actually started doing little things for myself. Like, switching up the colors in my house a little bit. Adding in the male, the feminine energy and the masculine energy together in all the rooms. I started doing it with my nails. Okay? Just little things. Even my clothes. I started buying clothes for a purpose colors for a purpose and when i was buying the stuff i was just like oh this is cute you know and i just go with it that's how i find herbs and stuff and whatever i need i just get led to it and i'm like okay it's a form of channeling or whatever but um so weeks are on the end of this process and then i'm fasting and i'm going through all this i'm getting all these downloads i'm getting this i'm getting that messages da, 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 da. so so i just started writing down because it was just like an overload okay so I um, put it all together. I got some answers and found out that right now, that's basically what we're dealing with is the masculine and the feminine energy. And I'm like, wow, you know, I didn't know at first <laughs> what was going on, you know, but I was being led to change things around in my house. Like, you know, just in my, my home. To me, this represents other things too, spiritually. Okay. That's just, that's just how I feel. So, um, I don't know, but right now we're dealing with that feminine and masculine energy right now. Okay. Like I said, for me, it started around in January. Um, um, let me see. Actually, it was like around the first of January for me. Cause I remember I had went out shopping. I had my, um, daughter to come and get me. We went shopping. I'm picking up all this though stuff that I don't normally get. Like I'm not really into, I wasn't really into pink, you know, except for when my daughters were little or whatever. Well, I'm shopping and I'm like, Oh my God, this is so pretty. And that's not even me. Like it's pretty, but I won't buy it normally. You know, um, I normally like black. I mean, just to say that's one of my favorite colors and then blue green. 
you know, these are like my favorite colors, okay? And you could throw purple in there too, but my go-to was always black, 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 black. And then I was like, you know what? I need to cut this. Let me add in some colors. Let's, let's, let's spruce it up a little bit. I'm looking like a funeral home. Look like, I mean, I was wearing black to people's weddings, okay? That's how serious I was on the black. Now, I would put like some shoes on that pop, like some shoes with color in them a little bit. Even my friends were saying, they're like, are you wearing all black to a wedding? I'm like, why not? Like, they looking at me like, this chick, this is not the night before Christmas wedding or whatever the hell, uh, the Adams family wedding. They was like, Michelle, why are you not wearing some pretty colors? I'm like, shit, they didn't tell me to wear no colors. Anyway, beginning of January, I seen myself just buying all this pink and blue and, you know, and, and putting it all around my house and, and just, it was pretty cool to me now that I put it all together. It was like I was preparing myself for this major shift that was going on right now. And I'm really happy to be a part of it. I'm really happy to be in the position I'm in now and to go further. Very, very happy. And as this past happy, I'm like um, joyful. Um, I'm excited to see my growth. And others, too. Like I'm one of those people that wish well for everybody. Now, if they don't make it, that's on them. If they ask for help, if I know what I know, I'll lead them towards something. Because I feel like you can't really teach people nothing. Uh, I mean, you can. But you're basically helping them rediscover stuff that they should they already know. Okay? Once they go inside their self and start really dealing with their own issues and who they are and all that stuff. You learn that they just rediscovering who they are. So, I feel like the knowledge is out here. It's not my knowledge, neither. It's just out here, and we're supposed to give it, pass it on. If not, you'd be overloaded. Like, this shit is annoying. Anyway, so that's what led me to do videos, too, because I didn't have a lot of people I could talk to. And I'm like, why not do a video about it? There's got to be somebody that's going to relate to me. And then I could just, like still be around my friends or family or whoever and not try to you know throw all this stuff on them because before that's what i was doing they're looking at me like girl you even lost it <laughs> some of my friends would listen some of them would be like oh we're tired of hearing it like no can you just kick it michelle and quit being a teacher i'm like oh man i figured out that i wasn't supposed to do that anyway so Long story short, once you get that knowing, can't nothing.